Welcome everyone to this week's Changelog. My name is Jacob. I'm joined today by Nick. How are you doing today, Nick? GMGM. GM. I'm doing well. I'm excited for the Changelog, as always. As always. Um, so first thing we have today is Radar, which is Coliseum's yes. announcement of the upcoming hackathon starting September 2nd. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Coliseum or the general hackathons that Solana, uh, the Solana ecosystem runs, uh, so this is the bi-annually or what is it twice annually hackathon that usually is a highly competitive system gets a lot of new developers in the ecosystem and you build an app and compete across thousands of applicants i think we had over a thousand applica- uh, applications submitted last time uh, to try to win the hackathon so it's really cool to see um, if you haven't started now now's the time figure out what app you're going to build find your team um, and get ready for radar. Uh, there will be a kind of radar ish section at breakpoint that you can help, hopefully help you find teams if you haven't already. Um, but that will be at breakpoint starts September 2nd. So get a move on, hurry up. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> super excited to see a, what people build and like the, uh, in-person breakpoint funness that's going to be going on for the radar hackathon. I'm excited. Yeah, I definitely will be talking to a lot of devs about this during Breakpoint. We'll probably give some workshops too. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. All right, so next thing uh, is SIMD 160, the static instruction limit. Um, So my understanding of the SIMD is today there is a a limitation of the number of instructions on the runtime that you can have in a single transaction. Uh, Make it fail earlier instead of like going through all the motions of checking it. Um, so this helps you as a developer understand where you're going to actually fail earlier before you do the transaction, et cetera, um, so that you understand your limitations. I think this is a great DevX improvement. Um, let's have more of these. Yeah, bullish on DevX improvements. And what commits have you seen this week, Nick? There were there was this interesting one from Jeff Washington over at Anza, and it's uh, updating the way that accounts sort of get an index within transactions. And I I think within the block right now, they're using two bits, but we only actually need one bit. So fairly straightforward. Let's reduce that to only use one bit. And the interesting thing here is that it makes it so we can have just less space that's being used in all the transactions that validators are processing. So one bit doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're uh, processing, you know, thousands of transactions a second, that one bit at a time adds up pretty quickly. That's true. I think this is actually a uh, agave specific change as well, because my understanding is Fire Dancer uses a different type of accounts DB. So it would only if it's like it's not like a consensus breaking change. Ah, gotcha. Um, That's cool. Which which is why we don't see a SIMD for this. <laughs> I assume so. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, because um, even even like the commit message here says that you know we're only using two states, so it, it just didn't need to allocate that extra bit. Yeah, it's great to see. Uh, another commit that I saw, or at least this is a number of commits under a overall issue. Oh, this is uh, so, so cool. An- Anchor is trying to support custom discriminators. So eight bytes is a lot of bytes per account when you only have 1232 bytes total for a transaction. So let's allow you to not have those if you want to. Um, so this is a cool change to see uh, that is being built within Anchor right now. You can see there's a number of different steps to the solution. Uh, but what it'll eventually do is kind of allow you to have more customization within the Anchor framework. Um, you don't have to rely on those eight eight bytes if you don't want to. The discriminator, you can have no discriminator and do all the account checks yourself if you really wanted to. Um it's a cost-saving mechanism as, as well. You end up doing more things on CU or less if you optimize it better than Anchor in favor of less work on the like account sizes. So great thing to see. I'm super excited for this change. This will, I believe, happen in Anchor 31. Uh, so it'll be the next update. I don't know when it'll be. That will happen, but it'll come soon. I'm happy to see this change happening. Yeah, this is really cool. It'll especially be interesting for people that want to use native. They can actually, in theory, use the rest of the anchor stuff that they want because they'll be able to set their own discriminators, which uh, which is amazing. It's cool. (laughs) Yeah, you could also like exit and do your own serialization too. I believe with this, yeah, Um, skate patches everywhere. Yeah, so it's good to see this. I think it's awesome to see. Yeah, you know what else is awesome? ZK compression. (laughs) 
Is that segue? It's a good segue. Uh, <laughs> Great segue. The ZK compression stack from Light Protocol and Helios is now on DevNet. You know, we've talked about this uh, when it launched on Testnet a little while ago, but they're they're progressing along pretty smoothly, it seems, and now they're on DevNet and eventually on Mainnet. So it's really cool to see. Yeah, I, lo- I can't wait to try this. I haven't tried it out personally. Have you, Nick? Uh, sadly, no. I've been too busy with actions and blinks. <clears throat> yeah, I've, I'm really excited to try this because you can compress any PDA. Um, we might do this on stream maybe this the week of this change log goes live. Um, so we can it. try it out and see how, what kind of bumps in the road we run into and hopefully do some compression with PDAs. That would be really cool. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. All right. And the last thing we have to, for this change log is we have the Stack Exchange League. Um, so we have Ari and John and Jimmy with familiar faces on the top three, as well as Mike and Mark. We have also, I've never, I've never seen Eric here. So I'm glad we see new faces. This is a, uh, yeah, he's got a third of his reputation this past week, so I'm excited to see new people helping out on the Stack Exchange. So if you're a developer wanting to contribute back to the ecosystem, this is the easiest way to do it. Just answer questions on Stack Exchange or ask good questions on Stack Exchange uh, so that we can make the developer experience better whenever you're looking up your issue when building. Um, but that's about it we have for this week's changelog. Thank you all for listening, and we will chat with you next week. Bye-bye.